the Nintendo Switch removable controller concept is cool but leaves many problems, especially the left Joy-Con. Look at this, if we push the Joy-Con a little bit, then it will be disconnected from the main unit. But don't worry, I will show you how to fix it. So gamers, let's get started. Before we begin, let's prepare the required tools. A small Phillips screwdriver, a thriving screwdriver, a cotton swab, a paper clip, and isopropyl alcohol. Let's inspect the console one more time. Remove the Joy-Con and replace it with other Joy-Con. Then push the Joy-Con a little bit. It is still disconnecting. So, in this case, the problem lies on the Joy-Con slider not the Joy-Con itself. I guess there is something wrong with the connector hidden at the end of the Joy-Con slider. Maybe it is dusty or something else. But unfortunately, we cannot touch it or even see it. Let's try spraying the pin connector with an electronic contact cleaner like the WD-40. It is cheap, easy to do, and we got nothing to lose. Make sure you have turned off the console and spray WD-40 directly into the problematic area. Then let it dry for a while. Then insert the Joy-Con and test it out. Push the bottom side of the Joy-Con and see if it is still disconnecting. It is not disconnecting and I think it is okay. Let's remove the Joy-Con and replace it with the other one. Try pushing the Joy-Con. I think it is fixed now, but I need to make sure it is really okay. Now reinsert the original Joy-Con. It is not connecting. Let's try pushing the Joy-Con. Then try pushing it again. Now the problem reoccurs. The Joy-Con is disconnecting from the main unit. So in this case, spraying the WD-40 didn't solve the problem. We need to disassemble the console and inspect the Joy-Con slider pin connector. Get your driving screwdriver and remove these four screws. Then use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the middle screw on the right Joy-Con rail. And do the same thing on the left Joy-Con rail. Remove the middle screw for now. Then remove these screws at the side of the USB port. Flip the console and remove the screw. Then remove the micro SD card and remove the screw. Then you can lift the back cover. Then remove the remaining screws on the left Joy-Con slider. Then you can take apart the Joy-Con slider from the main unit, but be very aware of the flex ribbon cable. Don't break it. Now notice a little metal hole at the end of the slider. You have to push the metal pin out of the slider using a paper clip. Make sure you hold the slider very carefully because you could end up damaging the flex ribbon cable. At first, it might be hard to push the metal pin out of the slider. But soon after you found the sweet spot, it is easy to do. Push the metal pin all the way until you can remove it completely from the slider.
Then pull the micro circuit board out of the slider carefully. Now the slider is fully separated from the main unit. The micro circuit board is just a bunch of contact pins, and maybe some of the pins are dirty, so it won't detect the Joy-Con accurately. Now take the isopropyl alcohol and wet the cotton swab with it. Then rub the contact pin several times. The next step is the trickiest part. You need to reinstall the circuit board to the Joy-Con slider. Then reinsert the metal pin. And then reinstall the screw. You can install some of the screws and do the rest later. Then reinstall the back cover. Inspect all the sides and make sure it fits perfectly. Then install the driving screws. Then install the screws at the top and the bottom of the main unit. Then lift the console stand and install the screw. Then reinsert the micro SD card. Now reinstall the rest of the screws on the Joy-Con sliders. Now reinsert both Joy-Cons. Now try pushing the Joy-Con. It is not disconnecting. Now let's try using other Joy-Con. Then again, push the Joy-Con. It is good. Now reinsert the original Joy-Con. Again, push the Joy-Con. So now we have fixed the problem, and the Joy-Con is no longer disconnecting. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of the video. If you think this video is useful for you, then give a like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you need help, you can follow me on social media. You can also visit my other channel that is in Indonesian language. See the link in the description below. So gamers, see you next time.